Praise God. Uh, my name is Moses Kuridiare. By the grace of God, I'm the president of Calvary Down Ministries International that is based in Oboma Shop, your state, Nigeria. Thank you so very much for coming to this YouTube, Calvary Movies TV. It is a YouTube that I'm very, very sure that you will enjoy the contents. You will greatly enjoy the contents of this YouTube. I know you love me. A lot of you love me. You have been sending messages. You have been sending all manners of things to us. We appreciate you. But this particular YouTube channel is our YouTube channel. It is the YouTube channel that I belong to. The ministry I belong to. You are welcome once more. The Lord bless you. I can assure you. I can assure you. I can assure you. I said it three times. I can assure you that you will see a lot of life transforming messages. You will see a lot of salvational messages, powerful deliverance messages, holiness messages, and lots more in this same channel. I pray that God will help you in Jesus' name as you come along with us, you come on board with us. Uh, I want you to do like um, five things for us. Number one is that you watch this movie. Just watch any of our movies. There are a lot and a lot of them, a lot of the movies. Uh, watch as much as possible. That's the first thing I want you to do for us. Watch the movies. Watch Calvary movies. Secondly, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Just subscribe to this YouTube channel and the Lord will bless you. You see the subscription, say subscribe, just tap on it. And it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't remove anything from you. But rather, it is handy to the work of God in our lives. So you want you to subscribe. Then, number three, you like it. It is, when you like it, you tap the like. You, when you like it, that is when YouTube, you appreciate what we are doing. And YouTube will encourage others too to watch our movies. Praise the Lord. Then there's a notification bell. The notification bell, you see like a bell, just tap on it too. The notification bell will alert you of any new content that is coming into this YouTube channel. Hmm. I know that as we do these things, the Lord will bless you. Just two things more that we want you to do for us. Then we want you to share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. Share it with as many people as possible. When you share with your friends, they will be benefiting what is on this YouTube. They too will be of great benefit. You will receive great benefit watching this YouTube. Please share it with your friends and your family. And you shall be well with you. Then lastly, continue to pray for us. Just pray for us. What we need the most is your prayers. I know that as you pray for us and we pray for you, hmm, heaven will answer. And things will change for good in your life in Jesus' name. Before I leave you finally, I want to prophetically pronounce into your life right now. Because you have come to this YouTube channel, the Lord will visit your life. Because you have come to this YouTube channel, the Lord will expand you beyond your slightest imagination. Because you have come to this YouTube channel, everybody that is watching this and is sick, having one form of ailment in his or her body, the ailment disappear right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, because you have come to this YouTube channel, your hand, as you dig your hand into your pocket or into your pulse, it will never get dry. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I'm prophesying to your life now as the oracle of the Lord that because you come to this YouTube channel, everything will begin to work correctly, beautifully, excellently for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, see you on top. God bless you.
stay posh more than friend and life to me all along my big green job Close to thee, close to thee, close to thee, all along my pilgrim job. Only save your life. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. When you are this current thinking, all is gone. Count your many blessings, then there won't be. Any tree surprise you, what the Lord has done. Count your blessings. Great. I'm so captivated, so enraptured by your songs this morning. In fact, I feel as if I'm in heaven already. And if a mortal like you can sing, and I feel so captivated, so enraptured, I wonder how it will look like in the midst of innumerable companies of angels. It's going to be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Mm. Wow, my dear. Do you know how your first song, Thou My Everlasting Portion, came to be? Ah, uh, no. Okay. Yes. That song was composed by Fanny Crosby. That blind woman. Down My Everlasting Portion is one of her over 8,000 songs she composed. Wow. 8,000 songs? Yes, over 8,000 songs. Serious. <laughs> yeah. She became blind at age six. Hmm. She had numerous tensions and challenges. Yes, for her, Jesus is her everlasting portion. To her, Jesus is more than a friend. Jesus was her everlasting portion. Her utmost desire is to walk with Jesus and she lived 95 years 95 years, 95 years. Hmm. 
working with Jesus and working with Jesus till she walk into glory. Hmm. Hallelujah. That is great. That's your second hymn. Count your blessing, name them one by one. It was composed by Johnson Lehman Jr. Yeah, Lehman Jr. believed that uh, we should give thanks to God each day, each and every day of our lives. Juno composed over 5,000 songs of his 66 years of sojourn on earth. Juno mm -hmm. reminded us that we ought to give thanks to God in everything and for everything mm -hmm. he has done for us. No matter how small it may be, mm -hmm. we must give thanks to God for all he has done for mm -hmm. us. For all he has done for us. Oh my God. Thank you for everything. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Count your, your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Oh my God. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Say that. Thank you so much. Ah, how is work today? Mm, I'm to oh my God, you look so tired. Yeah. Well, yeah. You are freshening up. I've prepared your favorite meal. Okay. Ah, well, before this service. Yeah. Sweetheart, uh, I have a request. Request? Yes. Please go ahead. Uh, well, knowing your personality, I know this request may not go down well with you. Uh, I mean, you may not be home and dry with it. <laughs> I'll be home and dry with whatsoever that makes you happy now. Well, Please go ahead. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my baby. Thank you very much. Um, you see, I pity my driver, Shegun. I mean, the stress he goes through every day to come down here and pick me, take me to the office, run all my errands, and uh, bring me back home when we are done. You know, sometimes he assists you too. You see, this stress I feel is too much. And the chain reaction continues the following day. So, and what exactly do you want us to do? Yeah. Um, can we allow him to move in here? I mean, he will be he will be putting in at the boys quarter. Yes, that will ease his work. I mean, the daily bill he picks on transportation and it will make him to be readily available for us you know and he will also be at our call and bacon we can send him on errand anytime any moment he's available honey you know i'm enjoying my privacy i detest outsiders intrusion i know i know my dear what we the first quarter is the point of discussion here and i can stick out my chest and beat it that 
is coming in here will not interrupt or disrupt your confidentiality, your privacy, your... Anyway, if you insist, I'll give it a try. Well, I'm not going to do it. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's my dear. Give me a check, give me a check, give me a check, give me a check. Mr. Man, don't bring God into this. Don't bring God into this matter at all. Is it God that asked you to leave your lucrative job and go into full time ministry? Is it God that made you not to be able to feed your family? Eh? Is it God that made you not to be able to pay your children's school fees? Is it God that rendered you useless and redundant? Let's see, Let's see. The decision to go into full time ministry is not unilateral. It is a collective decision between you and I. Yeah, you give your full consent after consultation. <laughs> yes! I gave my full consent because I thought you had from God. I don't know that the only invitation you had from Him was an invitation to hunger and suffering. Ha! Why did I even marry you in the first place? Why? Ah, I did not regret marrying you. And let me tell you, I will marry you over and over again. <laughs> I know God is in this union <laughs> and in this ministry. <laughs> and I know this ministry will receive the manifestation of God in the name of sugar-coated mouths. There you go again. A man with sugar-coated mouths. See, I have been gullible to your thoughts year in and out. And that was before. Now, I refuse to be gullible to your thoughts again. Your salmon does not hold any appeal to me. The only thing that holds appeal to me right now is money. Any salmon that does not boil down, down, and down to money cannot hold any appeal to me. Yes, it's a pile of rubbish. In fact, a pile in the head. Come back. Greenhouse. I need 5,000 naira right now. I need it now. Yeah. I don't understand it. <laughs> See, I'm not lying. <laughs> you never look for it. <clears throat> Mr. Ma, don't try me. Don't try me. <clears throat> I need that 5,000 naira now. I don't ask. You must have. Ah. You, you must have, it is compulsory that you must have. Yes. In fact, it is very, very delicate for you not to have it. I'm not telling you lies. Give me now 5,000 naira before the count of three. Mm -hmm. One, 5,000 naira. Give it to me now. Two, 5,000 naira. 5,000 naira. You want 5,000 naira now? Now. Let me show that. Let me close now. Okay. okay. Yes. Five thousand. Yes. Okay. Sit down. Do this right down there. Yes, then. Sit down. I will give you. Five thousand there. Five thousand there. Ah! Ah! Hey! <laughs> Very good. Your play. I don't want to hear that.
This my husband is great. He is an husband every woman will be happy to marry to. Averagely rich. Very lovely. Eating in the house together. I mean all the house courts. Above all, he is indeed a practical Christian in all dimensions. He read his Bible very regularly. He is an example of a prayer warrior. He insists we don't only give 10% as tight, but at least 20% of our income must go for tight apart from other special things. His life is a challenge to me. I love him in all things, except one major thing is his problem. Just one box. What's the matter with you? You tapped me. I tapped you. You see, actually, um, you should understand. <laughs> Never in your life should you tap me again. You want to ride me like a donkey when you are not responsible. Listen. A man that does not know how to take care of his home can never have access to the body of his wife. How long will I be in this position? Oh Lord, I'm tired of the whole things. I found it difficult to express my mind to him. But I am suffering in silence. I am suffering and smiling. I am suffering and smiling. How do I help this situation? No, a decent woman should not do that. <laughs> what is not decent in this? I must talk to him. We must talk it over. Sweetheart, we need to talk. What's bothering your mind? Sweetheart, what's the problem? What's bothering your innocent mind? Why are you awake at this time of the night? Mm -hmm. eh? Do you really love me? Uh -uh. Why? Why are you asking such questions? I love you, my dear. My love for you is total. My love for you is 101%. What's bothering your mind? Eh? Share with me. Talk now. But why have you not been touching me? Ah. Touching you? Touching you how? But I've been touching you. I've been touching you now. Eh? I've been touching you. But why have you not been having sex with me? To say that you occasionally have sex with me would be an understatement. 
you really have sex with me as my husband. In fact, to say the truth, you have stopped. Why? Come now. I beg you. Don't do this to me. Come on, don't do this to me. Don't drive me out. Ah, very good. You want to go out? Now, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Go out. Go out. Ah, he's not like that. He's even more than that. Oh yeah, go. You think I'm playing? Are you serious? Go, I'm serious. Oh, you are disturbing my life. He's not talking. Ah, he's more than that. No, no. Sweetheart, go. I'm not playing with you. Go out. Go to your church members. Are you serious? Go to Christy. Go to Priscilla. Go to Bosse. If I go to Grace, go to Justin. I just go to anywhere. He's more than that. Get up. See, don't do this. I'm not playing with you. I will shout at the top of my voice now. Are just go out. Go out. I don't want to see you again. Yeah, come, come. Go now. Are you, look, look, at, look at me. Are, are you serious? Yes, I'm very serious. I, I, I should go. You don't want to ride me like a donkey. And you don't have money. I'm money. money. You, you are not money. responsible. You stay smart. Sure. You stay smart. Go out. Go out. You stay smart. Well, the truth is. I have not been in the mood these days. In fact, I don't know. I, I, I'm not in the mood to do such things with you. As a matter of fact, if you have noticed, my body has not been responding to advances and touches. I'm very, very sorry about it. Jesus Christ! And what did you do about it? Ah, a lot. A lot, my dear. I've been praying. I've been praying seriously. In fact, I've had, I've been alone with God on this issue. Bro Stanley have joined me in praying on this issue. I have two pastors. He has been praying for me on this issue. I did not take it with a pinch of salt at all. Oh my God. And what is the next thing to be done? Pray. Let's keep praying, my dear. And I felt such things should not bother you too much. Because Brostandi told me that it's the face of life that every man must go through at the point in time. But I'll soon bounce back. I'll bounce back. Hmm? And the reason why it doesn't bother me too much is because <laughs> I told myself, if it's not food now, then my dear, Abby, is it food? No, it is not. My dear, my dear, uh, I know, I trust you. I trust you that uh, uh, you can endure such moments. Eh? I, I, I know that you are very disciplined woman, very, very strong in the Lord. And it's, I know that it's only loose men that cannot be without it. Mm -hmm. They bother themselves with such things too much. But uh, as for you, you're the type of God now. I know such thing doesn't bother you now. Yeah? Or does it bother you, my dear? Take it. I know, I know. Take it. Uh, God bless you. Let's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what does this man take me for? A dead wooden object without sexual feeling or a woman being.
my queen. Honey. Your majesty. The sleeping beauty. <sighs> From pain to resting again a bit. Well, I came to inform you that the breakfast is ready. Oh. <laughs> Hot coffee is waiting for you. My God, you are spoiling me there. Yeah. Let me spoil you a little. Like one of those who tell we say. Let us spoil you a little. And if I don't spoil you, who else will? Mm -hmm. hmm? You see, you are the best thing that ever happened to me. Mm -hmm. You are the gift of God for me. And no one could adequately fit into the role you are playing in my life. I love you so much. And I want to say thank you and thank you again for coming into my life. Very caring husband, but he is feeling his primary responsibility. Thank you so much, dear. In fact, I thank God for giving you to me. Thank you so much. You're wonderful. Wow. Thank you, too. Let me go and get you to the world. Thank you, too. Seeing you. Uh, How's the family? We thank God. Uh, now is the ministry. Glory to God. And hope you are fine. <sighs> I'm fine, though, but not um, completely fine. You are fine, but not completely fine. How do you mean, sir? What's the problem? I am in a total, I mean, total financial crisis. Although you are not uh, my church member, but I couldn't pin down anyone that would be touched by the feelings of my infirmities. But you, please, bail me out. Bail me out from the jail the devil has placed me. Please. Jail? Yes, jail. Anyone that cannot feed his family is in jail and needed to be bailed. Deep. Anyone that cannot feed his family yes, my brother. is in jail and needed to be bailed out. So, like, how much are we talking about now? Hmm. Yeah. See, I will forever be grateful if you can help me with 5,000 naira. Even if you borrow me, I will pay back. If you can borrow me 5,000 naira. Please. Yes. 5,000. Yes, I will pay if you borrow me. 5,000. I won't give you 5,000. No. I won't give you 5,000. 5,000. I'm not going to give you 5,000. It's too small an amount of money. Sir, I pray for you that God will help you, sir. Amen. And flourish your ministry. Amen. No. 
I'm deeply touched. I won't give you 5,000. I will give you 20,000. And that is at the interim. By His grace, next week, I will find you something tangible. I mean, something tangible. You will borrow me 20,000. I say I'm not borrowing you. I'm dashing you. I'm giving you free 20,000 naira. And this is just at the entry. 20,000 naira. By next week, God will help me to give you something tangible. Jesus. Jesus. 20,000 naira, sir. 5,000. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't give you 5,000. I God will bless you. Amen. My God will bless you. Amen. God will bless you, sir. Amen. Please give me your account detail. <sighs> Sorry, I, I, I don't know it's um, offhand. All right, sir. I've seen it, sir. It's um, GT Bank. GT, okay. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Four, nine. Four, nine. Thank God, I'm with my ATM. I will need to go and cash it. 20,000 naira, sir. Hey! Successful, sir. Yes. Joseph, I did like that. I will see it. Mm -hmm. I will see it. I will see it. Because this is my phone sometimes. Hey! <laughs> Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. No, no, my pastor. You, I'm very no. grateful, sir. No. I'm very grateful. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. Oh, God will bless you, sir. Yes. I'm very grateful. My pastor. Ah. 20,000 naira. The least I can do for you. Thank you very much. The least I can do for you. Jesus. Jesus. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, my pastor. Thank you, sir. See more of I'm very good to sir. Next week, by the grace of God. Poverty is a disease. Just imagine. Just imagine the way he was so grateful, jumping because of 20,000 naira. No, no, no. Poverty indeed is a disease. May God bail us out of poverty. No. Again, Christian, you will never dare it to beat your wife. Even if I give you three dirty slaps, no supper for you tonight, and no breakfast for you tomorrow morning. Five thousand naira, give it to me now. Then you are as good as dead. I will give you 10,000 naira. Eh? 10,000 what? 10,000. Eh, eh! Are you joking? Ah, 
You see now? That's my love. Ah! God bless you. Hey, hey, hey! This is what we are saying. Gradually now you are becoming a responsible husband. Ah! I love you. And I will love you more if you give me more money. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's tomorrow. Yes. Ah! Thank you. I was still going to buy it again. I love you. Like that. Yes. Ah. Ten thousand naira. Ah. Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Yeah, you Sweetie, my flight has just landed and I've seen the driver that came to pick me. Wow, that's great. Well, something came to my mind right now. Okay, what's that? I just thought of Pastor Joseph that God used for us and he got pregnant. Since then, we have not done anything for him. Yeah, that's true. I'm so happy. We have, it has been so long we've been looking up to God for the fruit of the womb. And God, through him, he miraculously answered our prayers. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our sight. We thank God for everything. But the book of remembrance has opened for him. God went to use us to bless him greatly. Yeah. But I'm thinking of giving him 20 million more. 20 million what? Do you want him to backslide? I doubt if that man has ever handled 300,000 naira. That's on the high side. Let's take it gradually. Let's start with something small. How small is this small? Do you start with 1 million? Um, let's start with 20,000 naira. That is ridiculous, my dear. Dear, please, let's start with 200,000. That is still too much for pastor of his caliber. If you must find him, let's give him a hundred thousand lira. Well, if you insist, we'll give him 100,000. All right, thank you, babe. This is my six months of not sleeping with my husband. My husband is impotent. Is this how I will continue in life? Hmm. My husband is so selfish in this aspect. He cares in every other aspect, but fail in this aspect. My boss at work has been making passes at me. I must not heed to him. I am a Christian. A child of God must not be involved in extra marital affairs, but I desperately need a man. Who is it? It's me, ma'am. Oluwa Shegu. Shegu, what do you want? Uh, I came to inquire from you, ma. If you are done, so I can drop you before the close hours of daddy. Please, give me 30 minutes more. All right. Just go for now. All right, ma. Very gentle guy. Very handsome. He looks strong and bold chested. No! Ah! What sort of thought is this? Why will I be lost in after Shego? Ah, therefore I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Her driver, 
For that matter, oh my god. Nonsense. Ordinary driver. That. Do you know you really made me happy today? Hey, ah, it's been long and disappy. I'm so glad for your life. You gave me 50,000 naira to buy things for the house. Ah, hey, ah, in fact, God will continue to bless you. God will enrich your purse. He will continue to elevate you. He will bless you because of me. He will continue to elevate you. You will not know a better yesterday. I will continue to love you. I will love you with the whole of my life. In fact, you are my life. Sweetheart, you don't even look at me. I'm sorry, sweetheart. See, it is Pastor Joshua. We are talking about us, you are talking about Pastor Thank you show me to my sweetheart. I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, don't worry. Thank you for loving me. God will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Will you allow me to touch you this night? Sure now. Yeah. You owe me. You owe me now. Everything about me belongs to you. Me too, Amandri. Uh oh, what is it now? Uh oh. You better start doing it now yeah, so yeah. that it will be a better day tonight. Really nice, you know. uh, nice. Okay. I love you, sweetheart. I love you too. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Woman, now that I have her money, I have become a lover. I am not somebody she prays for. She says she will continue to respect and obey me in all things. It seems you are feeling cold. Sweetheart, can I make you a jug of coffee? Cold? Then I'm sweating. Okay, then a cup of... A cup of coffee, not jug. Okay, a cup. Oh, just, nice. a cup. just a cup. All right, back. I'm coming. <sighs> yeah, man. Yes, I do. Do you know what loneliness really means to a woman? To be lonely, as in loneliness. A woman is said to be lonely if her husband is dead or if she doesn't have a husband or if. Maybe she's dying as in without children. Or if her work no longer interests her. The list of the definition is endless, ma. Oh. How about when a woman has a husband who doesn't really have close intimacy with her? Thank God, Daddy, I mean your husband, does not fall into such categorization. You and Daddy, you are so close. I mean very close. I'm even praying to God to give me a kind of woman that will be so close to me, the way you and Daddy are so close. Uh, but by the way, ma, sorry, that question sounds very really personal. Why do you call me to your room and ask me such a, uh, as in a personal question? It's just about my friend, Priscilla. And you don't know her. She's presently in loneliness and sadness. Her husband loves her, but he wouldn't give her attention. It's over six months now they had sex together as husband and wife. Can you imagine that? I really pitied her. She's so troubled, but hmm. it is well, but Pardon my manners. Why am I even telling you all this? 
that betrayed the trust of my friends. Oh, what a pity. Yeah. Hey. Oh, what a pity. But that, that man must be very sick. And me must be very mad. How can a man will cohabit with a woman and not touch her? I mean, not have sex with her for good six months. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six months. Ah, only few women will take that. Most women will go out or even buy sex toys to satisfy their sexual desire. Ah, madam, I must confess, oh, your friend must be a woman out of this world. It's okay. I'll continue to pray for her. All right, ma'am. What nonsense? Why will I be discussing this nonsense with my driver? Hi. I told a lie, a big lie to my driver. Why? 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 Madam. Madam. Oh, nothing, ma. You you kept mute for a while. Nothing. Nothing. Just let's go. All right. Jesus power, super power, Jesus power, super power, Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. Hey! Jesus power, super power. Hey! Jesus power, super power. Hey! Jesus power, super power. Ha! Jesus power, super power. Hey! Jesus power, super power. Hey! Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power. Jesus power, super power, hey! Jesus power, super power, hey! Jesus power, super power, Jesus power, super power, hey! Jesus power, super power, Jesus power, super power. Super power! Ah, 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 super power! <laughs> Jesus power! Super power! Jesus power! Super power! Jesus power! Jesus power! Jesus power! Super power! Jesus power! Super power! Hey! Jesus power! Super power! Super power! Super power! Super power! Hey! Jesus power! Super power! Super power! Super power! Jesus power! Super power! Ah, hey! Jesus power! Super power! Super power! Super power! Super power! Hey! hey. Jesus power! Super power! Let's go there! <laughs> Jesus power! Super power! Jesus power, super power. Jesus <coughs> 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 power, super power. Hey. Super power, super power, super power, super power, 
super power super power Is that? Let me help you out. A fool is senseless, stupid, and silly woman being who lacks judgment sense. Two of us have been fools all this while. You love me, and I love you too. I don't love you, and I can never love you. Two of us have been playing hide and seek game all this while, Rosalie. How dare you call me by name? <laughs> Shut up your mouth and go out of my room now! Go out this very instant! Leave my room now! <laughs> you are a very beautiful woman. Highly captivating. Why don't you liberate yourself from mental and spiritual slavery? You cooked up a story about one uh, Priscilla, your friend, <laughs> which I know is an exact dictation of your real self. It is you, Rosalie, not Priscilla. You are lonely. You are married, but a single married. Let me warm you up. Take your eyes off from my present financial condition and concentrate on the elements that makes <laughs> Allow me. Allow me. Let me take you to next level. Let me have a taste of this your precious body. I love you and you know that. It is obvious that you have given me your heart already. Why don't you Give me this precious body. Let me have a taste of you listening. Let me have this your precious body. Take your hands off me! Get behind me, Satan! Or I leave my room now! <laughs> I not, said leave my room! It's not up to that. I reject you in Jesus' name! You I can't you out in Jesus' name! Leave my room you now! I said leave my room! Leave my room. Leave my room. Leave my room. Leave my room. Just give it a try. Leave my room. You will my... you enjoy this now. You will enjoy it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You, you want to wreck me? You Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? How is 
me? Oh, oh, he was so elated, eh? joyful, and to crown it all, he gave God the glory. He danced and danced to praise God. Eh? Mm. I told you, this is the confirmation to what I said. If he could dance and dance and dance to a mere hundred thousand era, I'm sure he would nap and nap and nap his head on the floor until he broke his head. If you are giving him the, that huge sum of money, that man cannot handle a million naira. Not to talk of 20 million naira. Ha, that's, that's way too much. My dear, see that. I feel we should help him further. I feel we should give him a million. I saw in that man a child of God. I saw in him a sacrificial pastor indeed. I could see somebody that can use God's money judiciously for kingdom things. Then yeah, let's help him. Well, I don't have anything against helping him. After all, God used him to answer our prayers. But I have plenty of things against tempting him with a huge sum of money. There, I have a suggestion. I'm all yes. If you must give money to a man of God, then give it to Bishop Shadrach of the PowerPoint Assembly. That powerful man of God. Give him 10 million naira and had 50,000 naira to that of Pastor Johnson. Why Bishop Shedra? God used Pastor Joseph for this. Why would Pastor Joseph be laboring for Bishop Shedra to reap? It doesn't make sense at all. Hmm. My dear, kingdom things don't make sense sometimes. Kingdom things don't make sense sometimes. Hmm. That's deep. I think I'll do what you said. Good. I'll give 10 million naira to Bishop Shedra and add 50,000 naira to Pastor Jesus' name. That is reasonable, spiritual, and sensible. Hmm? My dear. Hmm? Kingdom things doesn't make sense sometimes. Hmm. Kingdom things doesn't make sense sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. You took the advantage of my husband's absence and you got me raped. Shegu, you raped me. Shegu, you raped me. You raped me. You are wicked. You are a devil. You are a dog. <laughs> and I didn't take advantage of your husband's absence to rape you. I only made love to you. In fact, that's a big lie against me. I made love to you based on your consent. You lured me into sleeping with you by your actions. And you know they say actions speak louder than voice. You, you were you were you were lonely. Oh my God! I could feel it that you were you were bored. You were caged. Oh. Your body needed a man. You couldn't control your libido and your sexual urge, and you found me a ready solution for all your problems. You were never born again in the first place. You are a deceiver. You are a liar. I hate you. You are a drug addict. You are a drunkard. I could perceive the very strong stench of alcohol when you were busy raping me. You are wicked. I hate you. I hate you. Oh my God. You are correct. In fact, you are 100% correct. But let me put this to you. You are the worst sinner. You defy your matrimonial bed. You broke your parental vows. You made a mess of everything called righteousness by sleeping with me. And by the way, Rose, did you give the slightest resistance when I was making love to you? In fact, you were cooperating with me. 
you were giving me different soundtracks. And now you are here telling me trash. You are a victim of your inordinate affection and depravity. Leave my place. Leave me alone. Oh yeah, gouts. Leave my room. I hate you. Gouts. Leave my room. No problem. Leave my room. Oh my God. <sighs> but before I go, don't ever tell your husband all that transpired between you and I. And don't make me get out of this house when I'm not ready. And if you try it, <laughs> madam, if you try it, <laughs> the cookies will crumble. And the world will love to hear some interesting soundtrack when we were making love together. And your husband will like to watch some interesting videos. Look here, ma'am. My home, my life is ruined. Who oh, find that? Ah, you, Jesus. Ah, I have to collect this. Ah, Jesus. Jesus conquered the devil, quata quata. Conquered the devil, quata quata. Jesus conquered the devil, quata quata. Hey, conquered the devil. Sweet heart. Hey, Jesus conquered the devil. What has God done for us this time around? Oh my gosh. God has proved Himself loving and faithful. Eh? Yeah. Ah, where's your phone? I, I think it's inside. Come and take your phone. My phone. Jesus conquered the devil, father, father. Hey, conquered the devil, father, father. Hey, conquered the devil, father, father. Hey, father, father. Hey, father. Hey, 20,000 naira. You saw the lads? Yes. Hey, glory to Jesus. What do I do with this? I'm coming. Hey, hello? Nasiru? Uh, Kapenda, uh, Nasiru, oh, alright. Oh, please, I want to see you. Very urgent. Very urgent. Eh, uh, come, please. I want to see you. Thank you. What has Nasiru got to do with this? Uh, you see, uh, the man that gave me 100,000 uh, naira three years ago, uh -huh. he transferred 50,000 naira again. Jesus! Jesus! Uh, you see, um, I will give um, 10,000 naira as tight. Okay. And then um, the remaining money, I'll give it to the carpenter to go and get more plans for the church. See, the church of God is marching on. Yes. The gate of hell shall not prevail. See, hmm. this year, mm. our church must be made habitable for service. Mm. They are going to extend it and patch the roof. <laughs> uh, I get all that. But wait. Someone gave you 50,000 naira. You have already transferred the twenty thousand naira to your own account. account. Huh? Okay, you you said you want to give ten thousand naira to another church and for tithes. Then you will give the remaining twenty thousand naira to Nasiru the carpenter. Mm. So what do you have left with you? Me? Yes. Hey, but the other money, I still have one thousand five hundred. The money still remains. Ah, sweetheart, the Lord will continue to bless Amen. you. 
he will continue to bless our ministry Amen. in Jesus' name. Jesus, come carry them. Ta 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 ta. Come carry them. Ta 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 ta. Oh, what do we have here? <clears throat> yeah. Who is it? I am Chief Stephen Richard. Oh. And how do you come by my hotline? By Divine Mercy and Richard. It's sad, sir. <laughs> oh. The Lord bless you. <laughs> Can you please send me your account number, sir? My wife and I want to send a token of 10 million naira into it. Shakakakua bara kea tamali bara suka. Maiko la bara te kumalata. Indeed, it's a token. Because the Lord told me that you'll be calling. Mama's um, second car, I mean my wife's car, as the uh, first lady and the mama of this great commission, we think uh, it is not appropriate for her to keep you in that kind of car, you know? And so the Lord told me that the next person that will be calling uh, will receive the apostolic blessing of having the privilege to buy mama's car um, of just a token of 22 million naira. 22 million naira? We will buy it. I come, my kada barasi kota. Leke to marali barakwa. Let me receive your prophetic blessing, sir. I will transfer the money as soon as you send the account details. Mm, mm, the Lord bless you. Oh, the Lord enlarge you. Oh, the Lord oh. increase you. Amen. Look at me, look at me. I will pour upon you a bottle of the anointing oil that will make you to prosper. You will prosper beyond the, 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 the expectation of man. Amen. And your head will carry the grace of super abundant prosperity from now on. Mm. You are blessed. Amen. Shaka toa kamai koma reka ka aku koto barate ah you are blessed you are blessed hey man hey man hey man sweetheart what's the matter not Nothing, my dear. And you look so beaten, so pensive, so downcast. Please, what is going on on your innocent mind? Nothing. Ah. Nothing? No, you know, I won't take that for an answer with your look. No. <laughs> I won't take that. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What's going on? Okay. I'm only a little bit tired. Uh, 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 I shall say that earlier, uh, you know that I have the magic. So first of all, let me get to some beverage, then some analgesic, so that you can... <coughs> Come on. Don't bother. Don't bother yourself. A little more rest will suffice. Okay, if you say so, no problem. I will allow you to rest. Uh, rest very well. Don't rest. Well, that reminds me. A uh, pastor called that is coming on a visit. Which pastor? A pastor? Yes. Did you say God revealed anything to him about her family? Uh, well, you look so anxious. Did you offend the pastor in any way? Offend? No. I'm only curious that it's been a while he visited. Hmm. <laughs> 
Well, they say he's coming anyway. He will soon come very soon. So you mean Pastor is coming now? Mm -hmm. Why you soon knock at the door? And he didn't say God reveal anything to me. Must God reveal something to him before he Ah, uh, <coughs> no, not at all. Mm -hmm. Well, in fact, he may knock at the door any moment from now. I have sought the face of God after your proposal. And I have also gone to meet with the marriage committee of the church and the pastor as well. What is God saying? I agree to your proposal. <laughs> ha, the Lord is good. Go straight away now to report you to your pastor and your husband. Do your work. 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 You slapped me! I slapped you. You slapped me! You slapped me! Exactly what you're going to do, Desipa. The doctor said you were seven weeks pregnant. And my healing came just two weeks ago. Do we need a prophet? Do we need any prophet? Yeah, with all due respect, I cannot. I said I cannot accept it. I cannot, sir. <laughs> Brother Jacob, are you insisting on a divorce? Holy Spirit, here I come, help me. Rosalie, what has come over you? Where is your splendor? Where is your glory? I mean, where is your beauty? 